I'm just showing you how to make a pretty friggin' sick, um, I guess you could say photo manipulation, um, it's something that I kind of, like, recently discovered in my photography class in high school, so, um, it wasn't directly the same thing, but I kind of got an inspiration and an idea from it, so I made one already, and I'll show you what it actually looks like, and show you what will be the outcome. So, this one I named Concrete Jungle because I have the city in the background, New York City in the background. Um, I got it, and then I put a doorway, and if you look, it's like a jungle in the back there, and I've got like a tiger coming out of it, kind of. And I, um, I kind of made it look a little blurry, like it's a little foggy and stuff. So basically, um, the term like concrete, as in like all the city, and then jungle because of that. So I figured that'd be pretty cool. So I guess, um, I'll show you guys how to make something like this. I don't completely remember every single thing I did to make this, so it might not look exactly the same, but the main concepts will um, should look pretty similar. So I will show you how to do that. So first off, you're gonna wanna go to Google Images, and you're gonna wanna find some sort of um, stock. Um, I'm gonna try to do the, the same thing as the, the jungle, um, the concrete jungle sort of thing. So I'm gonna type in, um, you know what, we'll do New York City. New York City. Okay, so here we go. So we have a lot of New York Cities. So choose one that you like. I personally like that. So I'm gonna save it. Save it to my photos. Just save it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so I personally like it. So let's open it up. Open it up in um in here, and that is not very high quality. So I am actually gonna just hold up. Um, forget how to do this. This happened earlier. <laughs> um, I forget how to do this. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I don't like that one because it's not very um, high definition. So we're going to change it. So we're going to go back here. We're going to find something something that is high definition. So that's pretty high definition. So we're going to save it. Go to your picture, save it. Okay, so we're going to close out of that. Um, we're going to close out of this. No. Okay, we're gonna go open and we're gonna open up that photo much better okay so now what we're gonna do is um I, yeah I kind of like that so I'm gonna um what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my um I'm gonna go back to Google images actually and we're gonna get a we're gonna get a um some sort of doorway now you could do this with a like a window but I'm gonna do um door dot png and see you know see what came out oh, there's the one I had I'm gonna use that one <laughs> might as well so we're gonna take that we're gonna go to my pictures and we're gonna dra drag it in there you go now you got your doorway so we're gonna place it we're just gonna bring it down to about about here, that's pretty good. So now we're gonna want to do. So now we got this. So basically, it looks like the door is opening up to New York City, but that's not what we're looking for. Now what we're gonna want to do is we're gonna want to go back in here, and you know what? Um, so we're gonna get the jungle. We're gonna, I'm gonna get the same one that I had right here. Okay, save images, pictures, save, open this up, bring it over here. So now here, now here's the somewhat tricky part. Not that hard, but so you stretch it out to where you want in the door, you know. So that's I don't want it like that. Let's say we want to go. Mm, we want something like that, you know. Let's just do it like that, whatever. So now what you want to do is you're gonna want to lower the opacity of it, so you can kind of see what you're. Uh, 
dealing with. So we're going to want to get a rid of around the door. So on this layer, what you got to do is you got to um, basically you got to um, actually hold on. This doesn't look right. I'm going to go back. This should work better. Yeah, there we go. Now it's going to be high quality. Go to pictures. Save it. Done. Bring the new one in. Now that is more high quality. Okay. So now, um, resize it. Play with it. Get it to where you want to be showing. So, whatever. We're, I'm going to choose that. So I'm going to put it on screen. Or, um, you know, I'll just leave it on normal. And I'll lower the opacity. Or not undissolved or normal. Okay, so remember, we only want what's. We want to get everything. We only want the inside of the door to be in the jungle. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. We're going to outline through around the door. So, you're going gonna to want to take your, um, your magnetic lasso tool. Messed up. Dang it. <laughs> This could take some time, but it's not really that hard with this tool. And if you don't, if you mess up, it's okay because you can always um, go back, and uh, you know you can always go back and erase what you want. So you're gonna copy that. You're gonna delete this, or well, you're gonna deselect, and you're gonna delete this, and you're gonna paste. So now you have this, which fits. So I'm gonna want to switch it out to make sure it fits completely. Okay. Now you're gonna want to erase everything you don't need. So you're gonna want to go to your eraser tool, make it a hard brush. Um, I want to zoom in actually. And obviously we don't want where the door is. So erase where the door is because remember we don't want that. We want it to look like inside of the door, like you're walking through the door into the jungle. That's what we're calling for. See, I went a little bit too far there. Now, obviously, there are other ways to do this. But, however, this usually works out pretty well. This is the easier way, the easier method, actually. Oh, wait. That is my phone going off, guys. Sorry. Dang, I did that again. I'm sorry. <laughs> new so we just want to get everything out so if you look at that so let's go back to why do I keep messing up today that is very weird so if you look at it it kind of looks like it's a doorway to the jungle so basically what you're gonna want to do is now like I did I put a tiger coming out to you know give it that more jungle effect so you're going to go back, find the tiger, upper, I would say do an orange one because it's just more contrast, more eye-catching. So we're going to find it. So this is the one exactly the one I used. So we're going to view it, save this image to the your photos or wherever you want to save it. It's not my choice. 
basically that's for the most part what we're going to be using Google for. So now, basically what you want to do is you want to put it, you want to resize it to whatever you want. You're going to want to put it on top of the door. And you're going to kind of want to get it to how I had it. So obviously that looks like it's not coming out from the door because the jungle, would, the, a tiger wouldn't just come out from the water. It would come out through the door where the jungle is, clearly. So you take your eraser tool. And basically, you just basic well, you, or you could take your um, I forgot it's called the murky tool or something like that, whatever. Basically, see if you delete it like that, and deselect, and you look at it. There you go. It, kind of, it looks like the tiger is coming from the inside of the door. Oh, I missed that part down there. <laughs> that would have been very stupid if I left it like that. Okay, so basically, here you go. You have for you have it for the most part. Um. This is the main thing. Now, I mean, if you really want to go into detail and do some cool stuff, you could take like a spider, like maybe, like, or not a spider, like a snake, you know, going up the side of the door frame or something like that. But I mean, this isn't dumb. This lighting isn't is great. Um, so what you could do is um, you could go to um down here, take your blur tool, and kind of go to your jungle layer and just. One moment. And just blur it. It kind of gives it that effect, like that it's, you know, it's not like that up close. Like it's, you gotta go in to see, you know what I'm saying? So there. It just gives it a cool effect. Now, what you can do is, um, you can actually take, make a new layer, bring it to the top, filter, um, render clouds. So you get a layer of clouds. Obviously, we don't want it like that. So you're gonna, it's gonna go like that. What you can do is you take your eraser tool and erase like this. Now you can allow some to come through the door where the jungle is. So if you do this right, and then this is not all you're gonna do, but if you just follow, so erase everything you don't want. You obviously don't want it by the city and maybe you can erase a little bit off the tiger you know maybe well you want to get this face yeah like that and you know just go in erase it off of this there are probably quicker methods to do this but I'm just going to do it my way okay so maybe get a little bit I mean it, it kind of looks like it's a little glowing effect so now what you can do is you can take that and just lower the opacity so now that kind of did, it gave it like a little like the jungle mist, you know, coming out into the real world, kind of like it's blending in. Um, for that, that's the main part. You could take, you can go here, get your sharpen tool, and um, or no, not your smudge tool, your sh sharpen tool, and you can kind of sharpen the tiger, or sharpen the tiger, make him stand out a little bit, you know, away from all that. And so you see now the tiger standing out. Um, what you can do is, you don't, I don't really see a light source, um, but I mean, you could do cool things like go here to your background and maybe make it like black and white and then maybe lower that opacity to get a little bit of contrast in there. Um, you could go here and you could take like a goldish, yellowish, go to your brush tool, make a new layer and kind of, uh, you don't want to make that smaller, but you know, maybe you can make it, I thought I chose goldish, yellowish, okay then, so you can make his eyes really stand out, you know, give it that effect, um, but basically that was the main, this wasn't that complicated of a photo manipulation, it wasn't supposed to be, and then you know, you can name it the same thing, concrete jungle and there you have it so now this is I like if you you don't know this about me I like simple so this I really like um this one's actually pretty cool but uh you know you could play with different things like you can go to the door for instance you could duplicate it maybe go to the one under it go to filter blur maybe motion blur and maybe you can make the distance 20 pixels 
you do that, lower the opacity on it. That gives it a pretty cool effect. So I mean, there's plenty of things you can do, trust me. Um, so I mean, it's cool, I mean, you could, I personally don't think that this is a good time to use gradient maps, but if you would like to play with it, I mean, you could use something like this, you know, lower the opacity. That, you see, that actually looks pretty good, I was wrong. But I mean, um, I, I'm, I'm satisfied with this. I think this looks cool. Um, you know, the one I had was a sunset effect background, so I add, if you look, I'll go, to, I'll go back to it. So finished work. Okay, concrete jungle. Now we're gonna do kind of like a comparison. So you see this one, let me zoom in on it. I added the stars and it was a sunset. And so this one has some good contrast. And if you look at this one, this is more of a daytime, you know, a little kind of not dull, but not as vibrant. But um, I pers I think I'm gonna save this. Um, but basically guys, that's it i mean that's all you got to do i mean you could use this to you can always do things like maybe if you want you could do a window over in new york city like a window pane and like maybe behind the window um make it so the window pane glass is transparent so like you could put an image behind the window and it'll, maybe like a flashback or like you could take some sort of area and then maybe put a picture over it of what it used to be um but I personally like this kind of, I guess you could say, photo manipulation. Um, I actually have another thing that I am going to go show you guys in another video soon. So make sure to subscribe for that. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Let me see if I can find it to show you a preview. This is what you guys can look towards. Let load. Here it is. So basically, it, I was inspired by Baka Arts. If you guys watch him, go check him out. His link will be in the description if you haven't. And, you know, tell him I sent you. But basically, it has this sort of effect. So that's what I will be teaching you guys next. So make sure to subscribe for that. So yeah. Um, but basically, guys, this is the final image. Um, that's about it. So yeah. Take it, guys. Take it easy, guys. And stay tuned for the next video. So yeah, peace out guys.